Well, hey, howdy. Welcome to Camp Wound Dog Workshop. Um, here's a little something. I've seen a couple guys who are new to restoring and fixing and repairing ask questions about how this all works. So I'm going to go over this. Most of you veterans uh, have figured this out or at least ruined something and then figured it out. So I'm going to show you what to do. You know, this is a generator. This is fuel passes through here, it gets hot, vaporized into the burners, and there you go. Now, most of the generators now have a little tip cleaner in them. This is a little brass rod. At the end of it, there's an almost microscopic wire that pokes a hole in the orifice. This is critical to good function. When guys take their lanterns and, and units completely apart, um, and they've never done it before. Typically, there's one little part that will fall on the floor. It's this guy. This is an eccentric block. There's one of them in each valve. After you find it on the floor, even if you know you didn't lose it, or after you find out you lost it, getting it back in is critical to making it work. And it's not just a matter of screwing this lever back in. Because typically what will happen is, if you don't have your eccentric block in the correct position inside this tube, when you screw this guy in, this little tab will smash your block and twist it up. This one has been brutalized. I took it out of the lantern and it had been bent and twisted. I got it tapped back into shape pretty good. And it works, but it's not perfect. But I'm using one that hasn't been molested. What you do is you, when you put your, I'll tell you, when your generator gets back in, this eccentric block hooks over the needle in your generator. So as it goes up and down, that's what controls the tiny a microscopic needle poking holes in your orifice. When you put this together, you got to get it right. This groove, see that little groove in the eccentric block? It's got to be facing this part. It'll fit this way, and it'll fit that way, and it'll fit this way, but this is the only way that's going to work. So you slide that rascal back in there, push it in until this little shoulder here, see that shoulder, is about even with the top of your fitting here. You put this back in, you screw it down. Now here's the deal. If you don't do this right, it's going to crush your eccentric block and it's not going to work. So, you know, don't pour, put it all the way in, try to crank it down and make it work because you're going to screw it up. You make sure, and I took this out of the lantern because it's easier to do this when it's laying down than when it's standing up. When it's standing up, that little block's going to fall right back in there and make your life miserable. So lay your lantern on its side. Line that shoulder up with the edge of that. And slowly turn this guy in. Let's see if you can see that. And don't hurry. You know, just this is a matter of touch and feel. So you turn that in, and at some point, that little nibbish on the end of this is going to hook up with your eccentric block. And start to pull it up and down. See? That little nibbish on the wire here hooked in with the groove in the block and pulls it up and down. Once you got that done, then you can crank this nut down, you know, as good and tight as you can get it. Tighten up this guy so that it's tight but not so tight you can't turn it. Then when you hook your generator up, you push the block so it's at its highest point. Slip your generator into the hole. Drop that little hook through the block and, you know, it's, it's might not work the first time. There you go. And when that's hooked in, slide your generator back down over it and then tighten up the generator nut good and tight. 
All right, so that's the deal. Now this way, it's going to work. Your pricker valve is moving the eccentric block up and down. It's to the generator pricker, and it's doing it. Um, so again, let me go over what, what we're doing here. The generator, whoops, see it's in the down position, so I snagged it. You move it to the up position, and then the generator has this little pricker hook that goes into the hole in the eccentric block. Your eccentric block has to be facing this way when you slide it in. If you put it in like that, that, or that, it's not going to work. So you put that in, you turn this down slowly until you see your eccentric block moving up and down. Then you can hook your tab on your generator, slide the generator casing down, and tighten it down. All right, now I'm sure everybody that's, you know, done one or two of these has screwed it up the first time, so you know what I'm talking about. But for guys that are just getting into restorations and repair, this is a handy tip to know. So that's it. Thanks for stopping by Camp Wound Dog Workshop. You all have a really good weekend, and we'll talk to you later about something else incredibly important with lanterns and stuff. All right, that's it. Goodbye.